now as we prepare to do the offering, give joyfully with a joyful heart. Interestingly enough, Churchill, which before being prime minister, Churchill had actually um, been minister of the War Department and uh, served various positions since he was a youth, uh, both in the military and then also in government. He, he was a politician that, um, in, in some of the best sense of the word. He knew how to handle people. But immediately uh, after Dunkirk, after this great rescue, he says, if we have to be careful about uh, assigning all, all the attributes of the victory to Dunkirk. Because it, it was one of the greatest uh, military failures in the history of the British Empire. Ironically, um, history proved him wrong. Because it, it became known as the Dunkirk Miracle. Because every day, sort of people in little more than rowboats rescued 300, you know, for all intents and purposes, 350,000 of the troops that they thought they were ready to ride on. And so it did end up being a miracle. Just like having your Savior die on a cross, boy, that looks like a failure, doesn't it? But come Sunday, it's a miracle. And, and the, one of the most amazing things to see in the midst of that was out of that ragtag group of teenage boys, fishermen, um, one guy's a tax collector, he's, a, he's basically a, a traitor to his country. I mean, a bunch of nuts, actually. They set out and they transformed their world. I mean, literally. They transformed the world. It changed from that point forward. We live in a different world because of the work of ragtag people at, in the midst of a major failure that became a miracle of success. That's what you've inherited. That's what we send you out with. If you have questions this day or any day, see me about everything from doing more in the church, joining the church, um, just find it out about baptism. That's what we're here for. Let's stand and be this prayer. Father, we give you thanks. I pray a blessing upon this assembly that as we go out, truly we go out as, as soldiers ready to do battle. Let us not forget our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but rather, Father, that is our battleground. It is your flesh, your blood that you created for your purposes and you want them back. May we be your soldiers and know that our struggle is against the evil, dark forces in this world. And the only hope for the humanity which surrounds us is the gospel of Jesus Christ. May we be bold and brave in sharing it. May we model Jesus Christ in our life. And may there be nothing about us that keep others from wanting what we have. In Jesus' name, amen. You be blessed. Have a great day.